Mom. When you and Dad met, how did you know that you were meant for each other? Well, this shirt's still wrinkled. Well, let me get that for you, sweetie. <laughs> we just knew. This poem, this poem is... Well, give me my poem. You wrote this? You beautiful man! <laughs> you know, but just, what are you waiting? Just go out there and tell her that you love her. All right, I am going to go out there and beat the crap out of Perry. No, Tommy. Dad, no. Dave, he's got something coming. Oh. <laughs> this is part of your problem, Dad. I just can't lie to Faye about who I am. He can't lie to her. Hun, he's got to go out there and show her that he's got a bigger heart than Perry. He has to show Faye that he is a, a warm, caring, loving human being. Lying works. <laughs> go out there, Dad, and, and be a better man than you really are. Be a better man. I can probably fake that. <laughs> I know that you can. Until I was 16, you had me believe in you were a fireman. <laughs> <laughs> he always smelled like smoke. <laughs> Hey, this is how it's gonna be. Dad. Hmm? Meh. Hey, <laughs> I just want you to be happy. And if living with Perry instead of me makes you happy, then I just want you to know I respect that and I support your decision. Oh, you have such a big heart, Ken. What a beautiful man. I'm gonna stay with Perry. I'm gonna freaking kill him! Oh, yeah? Come on. Then I'm gonna freaking kill you! Yeah! What happened to the man who wrote this poem? <laughs> Titus, she has made her decision. She is staying with my dad. But he'd be living a lie. There's nothing wrong with living a lie. I lived a lie for 30 years. I want my lie back. Yeah, well, you can't have your lie back because it's my dad's now. <laughs> no, no, my dad will be better for her. He will take her shopping. He will bake her fresh pumpkin pies. He will go with her to get her colors done. My dad will be her friend, her companion, and her confidant. Your dad has nothing, nothing! on my dad. My dad will do her till she turns blue. <laughs> Blue's a great color for her. Dad. I do, I do like blue. Huh? <laughs> Keep them both. Well, that's what I would do. I'd sex him up and I'd do chick stuff with him. <laughs> Dave. Wait, that, yeah, that's great, great. Yeah, Perry, Perry can move back in because I, I'm, I miss spending time with him. And I can date Ken because I miss turning blue. <laughs> yeah, that, that way I don't have to jump head first into gay. This'll be like my gay halfway house. <laughs> okay, you know what? My dad is not gonna get involved in some Freaky three-way with you sickos. Come on, Dad. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> so, uh, I don't have to write any more songs. I don't have to steal any more poems off the internet. All I have to do is have sex and drink? Yes. Why haven't I done this all my life? <laughs> you did, Dad, five times. Yeah. But they weren't in on it. Well, this might be a horribly destructive, dangerous way to live, but hey, if it makes you happy, I can't condone this. I'm gonna wait in the car. <laughs> you know, you know something? She's right. You people make me sick. That's it. I'm going to dinner. <laughs> the rusty can? Hmm. Yeah, if I dance, I get half off. You see that? Pure integrity. He knows who he is. I don't know who he is. <laughs> but you, Dad, what is this? Using some poor, effeminate manservant, huh? To, to what, iron your clothes, cook your food, tell me, get my jacket. You'll be, you'll be doing your laundry while you're doing his wife. Well, all I have to say is shame. Shame on the three of you. <laughs> S-H-A-M-E, three times. <laughs> Let's go, Tommy. I'll, you know, zip up, it's chilly out. Okay, I got it. 
there's a one in six billion chance you're going to find your soulmate. But maybe your perfect soulmate is actually three or four half perfect people. How far are you willing to go to actually find that perfect somebody? Zzz. Because, hey, if you're not willing to make a group of people your soulmate, well, then you better plan on being alone. You'll always have television. And now we return to Life is Swell. Uh, you sure were great last night, sweetheart. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I bet you two worked up quite an appetite. Well, she's a hottie. So are you. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> So creeps me out. I'm the funny one. No, I'm the funny one. No, I'm the funny one. I'm the funny one. Okay, fine.